going to control a servo motor with our infrared remote using uh, IR remote and IR sensor and of course Arduino and for this uh, project you are going to need uh, Arduino Mega or Arduino UNO anyone you like you can use Arduino Nano as well and a servo motor and IR sensor so I will connect make a connections so you can understand which connection I'm, I'm gonna make and how will I will how I will program it. So let's get started. First of all, go to the browser and open the tinkercat.com website. Uh, link is also given in the description. You can go ahead and open this website and click on sign in. and you can uh, sign in by using your social media account like facebook google yahoo or microsoft anyone you like and uh, i'm going to use my facebook account when you log in you will see uh, two options here 3d design and circuits click on circuits and then click on create new circuit i have already made so many uh, circuits here with arduino and all that now click on create new circuits you will lead to the empty canvas where you can make your circuit and also connect make all the connections so let's uh, bring in the Arduino UNO and uh, a servo motor and also the IR sensor you can bring there are limited components are showing here so you can bring in more components by clicking this drop down menu and click on all now the components are increased here we have the IR sensor so let's start connecting things so, uh, we have the Arduino UNO and this is the ground pin connected to the ground Arrange it like that and change its color to black. And this pin is a power VCC connected to 5 volt. Uh, arrange the wires as you like and change the color to red. This is the out pin. I will connect this pin to the analog pin, or you can connect it with any digital pin. So this time I will connect it with uh, digital pin. Uh, let's zoom in again. There you go. Digital pin two. And I have the servo here, rotate it, arrange it according to your requirement as you like. And also this uh, servo has a signal, power and ground pin connected to the ground. This is the VCC connected to the VCC wire. Change their color as well so you can understand which wire is which. It will be red and then black, and the signal wire will go to you can connect it to the pulse switch modulation pin which is uh, yeah, 3, 9, 10, 11 I will connect it to the 9 pins 
Yeah, let's make it a little orange here, cream. So no, I will overlap each other. Change its color to yellow, and this one needs to be orange. So, it is is simple like that, and we have connected the IR sensor. Now, we need IRA mode as well. Bring it in. There, we have. There we go. And now we will use the now when we will write the code. Suppose that you going you are going to need an Arduino software. You write the code in it and we will write the code and after that we will bring it in here in the code section. Or you can code it like using blocks. I will prefer. I prefer to do text like this. I will do that. And here we have the Arduino sketch. Let's start writing our code. First of all, you are going to need a library for IA. So let's go to the include library and find the IR library. If you don't have the IR remote library, if you don't have the library, you can also bring in the library by going into it tool library and manage libraries. It will automatically download the or update the libraries, existing libraries in your PC, or you can search IR. And it will bring in the libraries of infrared, which are, I have already installed it. So like our remote. So I have installed the library already. So I don't need it. Here include the libraries like that. And after that, you have to include library of servo motor as well. So find the servo motor library. Here we have it. So moving on, we will uh, define the pins. Like it's a defined function. You can uh, give it a name uh, log. And also give it a value and how are we gonna find the values which are sent by the IR sensor uh, IR remote to the sensor so I will cover that up also in this tutorial so it's gonna be a little longer so let's just uh, stay that way a zero into uh, here we will write the value which you, uh, which will be we will receive from the IR remote and same for the clockwise and same for the anti clockwise. I will write it anti 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 clock and uh, here I will write the other code for the second button and going into the after that we will add a servo make sure the first letter is capitalized otherwise it will not change its color and you will not be able to uh, here you can type my servo after this you will be typing initializing variable value and semicolon at the end now we will type the boolean algebra 
you use Moodle algebra or you can use clockwise rotation so you can understand uh, how I'm gonna do it I'm doing it and a clockwise uh, rotation This is a clockwise rotation and this is anti a for anti and clockwise rotation and put the semicolon at the end and this states the uh, rotation after that we will finish uh, add the ir rc rcv irc uh, this R will be smaller like that and if you make a mistake uh, make sure your code is correct and type REC R E C V is called pin and add semicolon at the end of this one. and Decode results 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 and semicolon again now moving on to the white setup uh, type serial s is capitalized serial dot begin This will be the bar rate 2600 and IR and REC we receive that enable IR in like that. And if I change this into uh, uh, smaller, it will not change color. Make sure enable IR and then it as an input. And after that, uh, we will type uh, servo that attached to pin 9 as we did in a circuit diagram like there we go we have connect the servo to the pin number 9 so moving towards the code let's move into the loop section in the loop section we will make all the function that we wanted to do so I will use the if function uh, it's very easy very simple you can find uh, uh, other way to do that like uh, you can use the while function as well but I'm using uh, a function it's very simple and very easy to do so you can understand it very easily I will receive that decode that you have an operator and this will be in the parenthesis. Keep that in mind. And I have typed the semicolon here. In front of the function, you cannot type the semicolon. So I have to remove that. After that, you can start this bracket and close it. Here you will type all the functions serial serial 
dot print line okay result dot value it will be a hex function so I will type in like this after that IR you have type the IR enable copying this link and IRC we will type resume nothing in the parenthesis after that we will type if uh, results dot value equal to right here you can use a uh, function for the clock and anti clock I will type the clock here like that because I have used the clock function here I will type or you can change it like uh, plus or minus and you need to change here as well plus like that and uh, you can change that also you can put any name you like it and let's start another group flower bracket or curly bracket do whatever you like to say now clockwise rotation function equal to equal to not equal to clockwise rotation it's a uh, not equal to not function that we use uh, for uh, in a gate function as well uh, statement end here just copy that and this uh, clockwise rotation power should be capital I'm making a mistake here and type copy the line and type this one and enter it false this condition will be false and uh, after that you can continue by this parenthesis just started here and here and uh, this one started so let's take it here and type if the same function same things just copy and paste it just replace the plus into minus and change this uh, Anti clock wise, just we type here and here. I'm using for flexible function, and both will be minus. Moving on, we will type uh, this will be. A function ends here. Let's type again if C 
W clockwise rotation and and returns and you can use well not equal to one eighty because uh, the servo will rotate from 0 to 180 and I will type that there you go well increment it's a post increment we can use pre increment but post increment will be And, uh, again after that you can type if anti-clockwise rotation Same function you have to uh, make like this. And, uh, you can do that by typing well not equal to zero, just like that. Close or what it started, and uh, there we go. I have typed the 180 here for the clockwise and 0 for the anti-clockwise and here I have typed the increment and here I will add uh, decrement this will be minus minus after that type servo dot right the value of the well function semicolon and add a delay as well it will be as uh, 20 milliseconds so nothing big day so first save this sketch and give it a name ir servo control and save it and then click on compile so check for the errors if there are any error in the code Include the library of higher remote, include the library of servo, define plus and minus rotation clockwise. This will be a clockwise, this will be anti clockwise. Initialize the receive pin to servo as a servo. Initialize well, Boolean algebra like clockwise rotation, anti clockwise rotation, IR, IR receive pin, decor results with the results, and serial pin. And still begin after I receive enable IR in server attached to pin number 9. I R in the loop section, you will see all the decoding. And you know, this will when I press the IR remote, it will print the hex values, which is not correct values. Of I just put them randomly. And let's see, copy this code and control all control c or you can control this one okay control all control c go to the browser and here we have made the circuit and connections go to the code and control v to paste this code and hide this one and you can hide that too 
and start the simulation also open the serial monitor how we can open the serial monitor like this one like stop this one bring it here start the simulation when i press the this button it will print this value and when this print this press this button you have to put these two values copy and paste here Control C and Control V. Now start the simulation. There we go. I have server here. And it's not rotating. I have put the same values in the code. There we go. This should be a different values. Okay. Let's see. It it will it rotate to 180 degree. When I press this, it will rotate back to normal. Let's bring this remote here. Let's see. I will click on this. It will rotate. Take 180 degree rotation. When I press this button, it will rotate back to its normal position. Let's make this circuit and check how it will work. 